One person was killed when a car slammed into a motorcycle and an SUV. CBS 2's Kyra Finstrom is live with the latest on Vineland Avenue and Van Owen Street with a look at what happened. Kara. DeMarco, this was a horrific crash. Wreckage from it was strewn all along the city block behind us here. We were able to view security video from a nearby business that captured it, but can only show you one frame. Take a look in it. You can clearly see the man was sitting on the bike, just waiting at a red light right before the point of impact. His tennis shoes over there. There's a tennis shoe there, and it dragged him all the way over here. That's sad. Yeah, he. he there's no way of him making it. Gerard Castaneda works at the car wash next to the traffic signal where a motorcyclist lost his life. LAPD investigators say the bike was stopped at a red light when this red Audi flew down the street and plowed into him. A witness in a car also stopped, told police the Audi's driver never even tried to brake. He just felt the, the impact that because it was so loud, so he felt it looked and all he saw was a flash of something going away from him and then later he realized it was the motorcycle that was next to him. Sadly, the force threw off the man on the motorcycle, killing him. Investigators say the speeding Audi then pushed the motorcycle further down the street and then hit and flipped a parked and empty SUV. That set off a chain reaction crash with three other parked cars. Ultimately, the Audi rolled over and stopped. The woman behind the wheel was taken into custody and is now being treated at the hospital. We're evaluating her at the, at the hospital uh, to see if uh, being under the influence alcohol or drugs was a factor. Castaneda says he's seen a couple dozen accidents during the decade he's worked here. His heart goes out to the family of the innocent motorcyclist whose life was taken away in an instant. And they don't even want to stop for pedestrians. You know, the, the green light's on and, and they want to cut you up. I mean, I don't know what's going on with these drivers. The detectives here tell us it appears the man killed was in his 20s. We don't yet have any other information about him. They also tell us, DeMarco and Jasmine, that at this point, they're really not sure that was a motorcycle he was on. It could have also been a scooter. The wreckage was just so badly broken up and strewn all over the city street. Um, they're still working to determine that.